Hello everybody, my name is MD Quill and we are here to another vlog. This one is a little different from the last one. You see, normally I'm giving a vlog because I have to give an excuse because why I'm not updating and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, guess what? We're not doing that now. I actually have the schedule going, so we're good. This one here is actually something from a question that I've had a couple people ask me recently. It is about motivation. Now, uh, I'm still fairly new to the channel, but people are asking me, why do I keep uploading? Why do I keep uploading? I've been doing this for a few months. Obviously, I can't do too many videos at once because I'm busy, but you know, we'll get more into that later. Uh, people are asking, how do I stay motivated? How do I keep uploading even when I just don't feel like uploading? Like, I don't feel like playing video games. I don't want to do all that stuff. Well, that's actually a complex answer, <laughs> at least for me. Uh, to start off with, I'm going to say uh, one of my friends, actually, he, who is an artist, he's going to be, uh, he's gone to school to be a concept artist. He's really good at what he does. And he says that even though he's not motivated, he is able to draw his art and keep going because of discipline. It's because he has gone through and trained himself to constantly work, even when he doesn't feel like it, that he is able to do it. <laughs> and, well, I don't believe in that. I mean, that is a method to be able to keep doing it. You have to force yourself, even if you don't quite enjoy it at the time, you know you like it. But let's, uh, I want you to listen to a clip from Alan Watts real quick to uh, get a feeling of why I do it. One can discipline desire, whether one can curb it, is a deeper question altogether, which is what do you desire? What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? What do you want? What do you desire? What makes you itch? That is actually a good question of what I want to ask you about where you find your motivation. For me, the reason why I do this is because I enjoy making these videos. I enjoy playing the video games. And if you really love and enjoy doing it, you don't really, f it doesn't feel like you're working a day in your life. But even though you might love it, there are days that get really hard for you to push through and really get into it and go through all the recording, the editing, all the little stuff that people really push into it. That you had to, The little stuff that makes the videos great, that makes you really entertaining, that makes it really good. Uh, well, the way that I do that is I think of it. I think of who I'm making these videos for. And I actually have four reasons of why I make these videos. The first one is because I'm going to school to be an entertainer. I want to make people laugh. I want to make them smile. I want to bring enjoyment. And this is kind of a visual record of my growth as the entertainer. My second reason why is, as I just said a little earlier, I want to make people smile. I want to spread that cheer that I feel every time I know I'm making someone else happy. I want them to spread that smile to someone else. It's the pass it on method. So if one person is able to cheer someone else up, if someone likes my video and I make them smile, I want them to go out and make three more people smile, entertain them, cheer up their day. That's why I want to do that. That's my second reason. My third reason is because I have friends that watch these videos. Not many of them, mind you, but I have a few friends that watch these and they're really entertained by it. In fact, I just sat next to one of them as he was watching my horror video that I uploaded last Tuesday and I was hearing his comments as he was just getting kind of entertained by what I was doing. He loved it. And that, that brought me so much happiness when I was seeing him do that. And, well, that's one. That's a really huge motivation. When you see somebody comment, when you see somebody talk, when you see that they enjoy what you're doing as much as you are, boom, there you go. Motivation right there. I, it's, I love that. It's wonderful. And my final motivation is actually probably my biggest one. My final motivation is, because, is to make this video for my brother. Now, me and my brother, we don't live in the same state anymore. He moved away a couple years back, and I really don't get to talk to him too much. He's super busy, he has a family, and all that is great stuff, but I don't get to talk to him, and he's my best friend. I mean, <laughs> we grew up together. How close can you get? Hey, whatever. But I make these videos, and <laughs> when I was doing one of my uh, medieval episodes, I did the video, he was telling me the story of his wife behind him yelling at the screen because I kept screwing up and messing something up, which is obvious to uh, them as they were watching, but to me I was clueless. And it, I was so, it's so fun that it's as if I'm with him again, being able to talk to him. Uh, so it's something that brings me and him uh, together again. That's why I make my videos. Those are the four reasons why. 
That's why I like uploading. That's how I'm able to push through every single day that I'm making this video or these videos to be able to upload these to YouTube and keep doing all that. And anyone who keeps coming in, anyone else who watches, it's all a bonus to me. Like, that's why I'm so happy that whenever any of you are watching is because you are a very pleasant bonus to everything that I'm doing because... Well, I'm spreading the cheer. Number reason number two. I'm keep spreading it. It keeps going out, and it's it's inspiring to me. It keeps me wanting to push going. It makes me want to get better, and I love it. That's why I keep going. That's my motivation, and everybody else has their own motivation. Uh, the one that I don't recommend is they you say you want to make this motivation because you want to get popular, you want to get famous, you be you want to become the next Markiplier, the next PewDiePie. That's not very good motivation, in my opinion, because. Be careful what you wish for. The audience am the fickle's mistress, Toki. The audience am the fickle's mistress. The audience is a fickle mistress. See, I, I don't know how many people have been watching stuff on the internet for a while, but you know that some big names lose their audience because something happened. And you got to keep going. Even if the audience turns on you and you want to entertain and make these videos, you've got to keep pushing through that. And that's really hard to do when it feels like you're hated. That's why I need to find this other motivation. My brother is not going to hate me because he's my brother. My friends are the same. They know me outside of the entertainer. And they're not going to hate me if I accidentally screw something up or I might say something stupid online. I might record something dumb. I don't know. But they're going to stick with me. And I know I can keep making videos just because of them. That's why I don't rely on just an audience to keep me motivated to make these videos. So that's what I'm saying to you. Find your motivation. Why do you want to make these videos? Who do you want to make it for? Are you making it for yourself? Because that's fantastic. If you could just push yourself through, that's the discipline aspect. That's what my other friend was telling me. If you could do that because you like doing it and you love it, then do it. Go out and make that video. Just do it! Yeah, I had to bring out that meme, didn't I? But guess what? It's true. You got to go out. Make your dreams become real. Make it go. You can do this. You can make your own channel. You can make your own art. You can make a comic. I don't care what you do. I don't care what your entertainment is. I want you to go out and make whatever it is that makes you happy. Don't rely on others. Make yourself happy. Watch. If you like watching people, that's great. Watch it. If you want to be a reviewer, review everybody who you watch. All this stuff here, you are in control of, and you can improve your life by doing exactly what you want to do. Even if you have to work a job. I know right now, I'm a full-time college student. I go to school between 9 and 5 every day. I'm currently casting a play, so I have rehearsals half the t week, and then the rest I'm usually working at work. But you know what? I love making these videos because I have my motivation. I will find time to always do it. When people tell me I don't have time to do something, I say for... You can do it. You can find the time. Wake up earlier and work on something then. Stay up a little later. You can find the time if you really, really want to do something. And that's what you need to do. You need to just go through and do it. Just buckle down and get it going and just do that. I mean, if you have kids and all that stuff, it gets a little harder. It's really difficult to find time. I lived with my brother and his wife for a couple, uh, for at least a year, and their kids are really something. I mean, little kids are really a handful, and they're loud, and it's hard to record. But guess what? You can do that if you really push it. You can find time when they're at nap time. Go ahead and do it. I can't do my screaming horror videos because I wake up the kids, and the wife would kill me. <laughs> Sorry, Kristen, but you are quite scary when you get mad. <laughs> but that's how you, gotta do. you just got to go out and get that going. So that's basically my explanation of how you should stay motivated is to find the goal. Where do you want to go? Who are you going to entertain? What do you want to do? And don't rely on other people to do that. Find other time. Find the inner reason for yourself of why you have to do this. Why is it I have to make this? Why do I have to show it off? And that when you can answer that question, Use that motivation and push it out there so you could have everybody see it. And if you really, really love it and you really, really push towards it and you keep improving yourself, you're going to make something amazing. And I'm looking forward to seeing whatever it is all of you make. Well, that's it for this blog. Man, oh my goodness, that's gone on a lot longer than I'm used to. So I'm going to call this one quits. I might be doing a vlog every Sunday if I get time to make it. It might be every other Sunday. Who knows? I'm going to be doing this. I'll read comments. I'll answer questions, anything you guys have to ask. And uh, 
Well, that's about that. And, uh, oh, I have to actually say, coming this Saturday, I'm doing my charity live stream, the spring charity live stream for Akron Children's Hospital. I'll be releasing a video on Friday announcing when the stream will be happening, and you'll be able to see it throughout Saturday, probably starting about, I'd say, noon Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to be going at least six hours, and depending on donations, we'll keep going on and yada, yada, yada. So we did a Facebook poll, and apparently I'm going to be playing Spyro the Dragon for six hours. And if I beat the first one, I'm going to the second one. And we're going to keep doing that for the rest of the stream. So, hopefully I'll be able to see you on Saturday during the live stream. And I guess that's it for the night. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have anything to say, any questions, anything you want me to answer, ask it in the question box. If you have any, mo if you actually have a project you're working on and you want to discuss it, put it in the comment. I'll talk to you about it. I love discussing these things with everyone else. I guess that's it for tonight. So you guys bring out your ideas. You put in the comments. I would love to hear what you got to say. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.